lovely to see you both. Thank you very much indeed uh, for, for coming in today. Um, uh, uh, why? Uh, it's a means of it being able to escape from life, uh, get away from the sort of day-to-day -day, uh, busyness that you sort of live in, and just have a chance to chill and relax and have fun with the sort of simple things of life, like a chew toy or sort of hair scritches and that kind of thing. So a chance to unwind, chill and clear the mind, really. But, but what if, why not yoga? Why not meditation? Um, I don't quite know, to be honest. Um, it's just what I've sort of ended up building up as a reputation for myself to be. And, and how does that build up? I mean, where do you go from... Well, how, do you get to, how do you get to this? Because your, your normal job, you're a sound and lighting technician at a theatre, you don't really like being in the spotlight. No, that's very true. So... Um, how did I get to it? It, it's, it, it came about because we sort of uh, saw the sort of costume on the internet, on eBay, and purchased the, that one. And from there it sort of became like a, a sort of an alternative ego, it was sort of a chance to dress up and role play. You do it as a child and why yeah. can't we do it as adults, really? And this is something that consumes you, you say, that when, when you are a, a, a puppy, um, that, um, that that's what you think about. You that's, think yeah, in the... when, when you're into it, you're into a sort of an area, sort of headspace, your mind has gone right down into being a puppy. You're, um, you ignore what's going on around you from the point of view of humanity, uh, human life in the sense of money and food. It, you're very big for a puppy. I'm still um, just as playful. Oh, don't you look really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Your head went down. Hello. That. But, I mean, but puppies are quite sort of small and, and cute, yeah. aren't they? But we're still cute and sweet and innocent, really. Really? Yeah. And, and uh, We're house trained. Well, are <laughs> you? Puppies aren't I mean... house trained. I mean, they're very, very, very little. Well, you have puppy training pads if you need to. Puppy training pants? P pads. Pads? Yeah. So you don't go to the, you don't go and use the facilities. You'll go to the loo on a on a pad. In fairness, no. Most most of the time and all the time, I'll actually go. Uh, sort of, I sort of that will drop back into human uh, human mindset okay. for going to the loo. Um, and what about food? I mean, you've got sort of dog bones here and bits like that. What what do you eat when you are spot? Uh, you can eat um, stewed beef and sort of chicken tikka masala, curry, rice. And, oh, you can eat it out of a bowl. <laughs> that's quite, quite, that's quite a nice usual diet. puppy food. Yeah, quite a varied diet. Um, but those are actual real bone yolks. They're proper dog treats. Oh, yeah. Help yourself. Well, oh, can't, can't you can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, you need to get. Fed. There's one in the bowl. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So whilst he's uh, having his treat, because he's been a very good puppy so far, um, <laughs> that you were um, you were engaged. Yeah, and when well we split up two thousand and eight. Yeah. So yeah, how much of this did you know when you got involved? Bits of. He didn't have the suit then. Yeah. Um, he was more into lycra and all of those kind of things, and just started going out on walkabouts with other like-minded people and like-minded pups. X number of years ago. Even though social media was around, it wasn't as... And it wasn't obviously as... You didn't have the support, really. Didn't have support, or it wasn't as open. Can I ask you, and this is quite a personal question, but how, how far... Because I imagine if this is your, affecting your relationship with your now ex fiance yeah. this, isn't just a, this isn't just a hobby thing. This is almost like a, a lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah. It is a lifestyle. Yeah. And, and, I mean, is it, is, is it a sexual thing? No, no, it's not sexual. The whole... The whole point behind puppy play is it's, it's escapism, uh, to get away uh, from sort of money and run of the mill and sort of a hectic lifestyle that most of us uh, have these days. Yeah. So there's, there's no sort of sexual aspect to the puppy side of life. Um, it might be a catalyst and lead on to, but it's not actually the puppy that is engaged in the activity. L lead on in what way? Sorry. How do in what lead on in what way? It. Because you relax and you unwind, you could end up from being a puppy, then going further into sort of the bedroom sort of side of things. What, but it's in not, the puppy suit? Or no, never it's in not the puppy. puppy suit. It's not the puppy that goes to the lead on. It's like a, um, it's what? a catalyst, a start. So of. let's, so let's. Look, this is there is a complicated relationship here yes. because um, you, are, as we said, you are the uh, the ex fiance, and there came a point where you had to make a decision. You said if there was one big regret, it's the fact that you lost her as to be mm. you know sort of intimate in your life. Um, and uh, but you're we're still best friends. You're we're, best we're, mates. We're, yeah. clo we're closer being separate um, than together. we were. When but we you were won't together. go out walking with him and all that no. sort of stuff. You don't do any of that. No. So you know him without the suit. I, I know him without the suit, and I've seen him obviously with, through the documentary. Yeah. With him in the suit. As right. It so were. you so you learned quite a lot about the. I've understood a lot more. Right. Since, since the documentary. So the other the other triangle part of the triangle in your life, of course, is Colin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Colin is your handler. Yes. It's not love, as in love, love. It's, but it's um, a good soulmate, a good friend. Not too dissimilar to Rachel. 
um, from that sort of thing. And is there jealousy between Colin and, and there, you? Yeah, there sometimes there is, yeah. There, there is. Say there is? Uh, uh, I, I know there is. I'm stuck in the middle of the two, and I know that both of them are jealous of each other. Um, they're sort of, I know that Colin is feeling threatened by Rachel, and I know Rachel would like me back, and the problem is I don't want to upset anyone in the middle. I'm sort of stuck. I, we were looking as a, as a team yesterday. We were looking through the, the European puppy competitions oh, competition, that yes. there are and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it... it, it is, is it a, is it like a like a gay scene this thing? Uh, the puppy side of life is predominantly there. There are female pups out and about. And, and actually, what you're doing, I mean, you're Mr. Puppy UK, yes. and you'd quite like to take the CD image away from That's this, the idea, wouldn't yeah. you? Pe people have this premonition that the puppy side of life is a sort of a seedy behind closed doors, and no one should see it. But the whole point is, we're not there to cause grief and mischief to the public. We're there to have fun and be. Literally to be a puppy, to be treated like a puppy. So, an ear scritch behind it, you know, and uh, sort of tummy rubs is ideal for us. Why wouldn't you, you, you? Did you think about getting a dog? Uh, I thought about it. My the way that my sort of lifestyle is domestically, I just don't have the time to actually care for them um, right. sensibly, and fair it wouldn't enough. be fair. So therefore, um, I can relate very closely to dogs, and I do dog sit for people at times. Dressed like that? No, not dressed oh. like this. I have met a puppy like dressed up like this, and they weren't too sure because they could. I'm not surprised. From their point of view, they could see, they could see dog, they could see puppy, but they smelled human, and it just yeah. did, they were so confused. It Mrs. was just not worth. Well, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Uh, right now, for example, I'm due to have another rhinoplasty simply because I can't hardly breathe. So things has gone wrong. Yes. yes. Throughout the years, and then I had to get them fixed and repaired. And then I, I turned out to be nicknamed as the Human Life Kindle. It was never my intention to look like a doll. 